not about um, good person, bad person. It's really finding evidence. Uh, and in fact, we are now using terminology which is evidence-based and we're not talking assessment anymore, right? Because it's about data analytics and it's about getting gathering as much evidence as possible. Um, and I think that's going to push human capital further into a more, um, more science-based, as well as art. We're not saying that there is no art and there's no judgment, but clearly these are the two big points of departure from traditional human capital practices. When we see that our, uh, you know, our professionals that work in human resources, our business leaders, CEOs, and so on, the level of sophistication that is available and that can be applied to making these choices is very dramatic. And you know, if, if, we, if we can understand what is it that this role really requires, and we have really studied and analyzed the role itself and the risks that are inherent in the role, and then we can Im imagine that, gee, prima facie or on the surface, th this is, this is a, a pretty good match between this role and this talent. But then we can really begin to bring texture to it when we can say, well, what are all of the sources of evidence that are available to us in order to be able to match and fit this role with this talent and bringing that kind of, of analytical power and so forth to a process that allows us to, to really, um, in quite great detail, understand what risk we're taking by putting this talent in this role to the success of the film or you know, to the, uh, the sports team or to the CEO that we're putting into a particular role. No, I love that because we've been talking, another point of departure is that in normal talent supply or leadership supply, we're trying to mitigate risks without really blowing up the risk and not, you know, we kind of not want any risk. But in our process, we're actually saying, make it visible, make the risks visible, so then you can really mitigate it in a very, very different way. So I think this is another point of departure. Uh, and personally, I, I, the fourth step for me, when, you, you know, when you're looking at risk, is, um, is a real uh, point, really, amongst all the points of departure, that is the biggest point of departure for me. Because you're making it um, visible with numbers, and suddenly you're telling a CEO that if you were going to spend $1 billion on an asset or a plane or whatever, you would be looking at it very differently. And you kind of make that visible to them on the risk that they're taking um, with, you know, by just saying it's a, he's a good guy or not a good guy.